Hello and welcome. This is Varun, Technical Advisor Design and Prototyping and Educational Consultant for Tutomatch.com. In this session, we will be discussing about the User Coordinate System. User Coordinate System plays a key role in 3D designing. It helps you to move the Cartesian coordinate according to your need. So before understanding UCS, you must know one thing that the drawings which you do in AutoCAD is always drawn on the XY plane. So it's our requirement to align the XY plane according to our need in the software. Lately, AutoCAD has become so much advanced that it can automatically align the UCS according to the object which you take, which is known as dynamic UCS. It will also help you to establish horizontal and vertical direction along with the axis of rotation. Now let's see what are the subcommands in UCS. UCS contains several subcommands in it which is listed here. Now let us get to know these options in much more detail. Now as we have discussed in our introductory videos, we know the UCS is defaultly aligned like this. Now before going and understanding the UCS command, I would like to recommend you to come over to the customization tab like this and click on it. You can find an option called dynamic UCS which is available here. Check whether the option is ticked here. If it is not, make the mark. And when you make the mark, you can see the dynamic UCS available here like this. I would like to recommend you to make this dynamic UCS off for the time being like this. So you can see the dynamic UCS becomes off. Before understanding UCS, let me create a three dimensional object like this. Correct. Now as you can see that the default UCS is automatically aligned. So that means what all objects you draw, it will come on the UCS which you have set like this. So meanwhile, if I want to draw a circle in this face and I try drawing the circle with the command C, enter and draw it here, you can see that it is coming on the base UCS. So that means you must understand the basic of UCS that what all drawings you do, it will always come in the X, Y plane like this. So that means if I want to draw the circle in this face, I have to align my UCS according to this face. Correct. So in order to do that, we have to type UCS and press enter. So when you do this command, you can see that the coordinate comes to your cursor. That means you can manually place your cursor and align your directions according to your need. So I can go and show my origin somewhere here like this. So that means the origin starts from the corner of the object like this. And I can show my X direction towards this direction and my Y direction towards this direction so that my x y plane gets aligned to that face like this pretty better right so now when i try to draw any circle here you can see that it actually comes over that face you can draw a circle here or a rectangle like this now if you want to draw a circle in this top face again you have to go to ucs press enter take the cursor show the origin according to your need show the x direction then show the y direction and your UCS is aligned to the top face like this and you can draw the objects right so that is the basic use of UCS now, let me delete these objects which I have drawn here like this now let us know what are the inner commands in an UCS so let me type UCS and press enter the first one is called face that means if you want to align your UCS according to a face you can directly select this face option and show the face suppose I want to align my UCS with this face. Select the face and you can see that the UCS aligns to that face. Now it will be asking to enter an option that is next X flip or Y flip. That means you can flip your X direction or Y direction or you can press next to go for the next face which you have done because there may be a confusion for AutoCAD that whether you have selected this face or the behind face. So if you want that one you can go for accept or if you want again the previous one you can press next again to come over to the previous face and press enter to accept it correct so now you can see that your UCS is aligned to this face and you can draw any objects like this right the next option that we have is named that means you can save your current UCS in a particular name or you can retrieve any saved UCS to your drawing so when you select this one it is asking whether you want to save this orientation of UCS or delete this one or restore any previous one so you can go for any of the options according to your need. The next option that we have in UCS is object. That means if you want to find your UCS according to an object, 
you can select this object. Now the difference between object and face is that when you select an object, it will automatically align the origin to the corner of an object. In the face option, it was not aligned to the corner of this face. It was just aligning the UCS in that plane. So when you go for the object option and select the object, you can see that it automatically aligns with the corner. Moving on, in the UCS command, we have an option called previous. That means if you want your previous UCS to come or restore, you can go for previous option to restore your previous UCS. Pretty better, right? Going further, in UCS, we have the option called view. So that means if you want to align your UCS according to the view in which you are looking at the object, you can go for view option, which is here, right? So that means when you rotate your object now, you can see that the UCS is aligned according to the view at which you were looking at the object. Or you can say that the UCS get parallelly aligned to the view you are looking. Let me go for the UCS again and press enter. The next one is bold. Bold is the default value of UCS as you can see here. That means it will restore your UCS to its previous condition from where we have started. That means as we know, we have already appended our UCS many times and we have already forgotten where our initial origin was. So you can go for the world option to get your initial origin which was like this, right? So that's also very useful while you're doing the UCS. So you press UCS again and press enter. Now the next option is X or Y or Z. It helps you to make your orientation along each axis. So I can go for X. So that means that my X axis is fixed. Now you can show other two axes whichever you want. Suppose I want Y somewhere like this. I can click here so that the Y aligns according to that. Similarly, you can go for the other option that is Y and Z to fix each axis and rotate the other two. I'll press UCS again and go for the last option that is Z axis. That means you can show your Z axis and get your alignment correctly. That means selecting this corner and showing the Z axis somewhere here, it will automatically align your origin like this. So like that, you can use your UCS in pretty interesting way to design your model. Now let's get to know what is a dynamic UCS. Dynamic UCS is really amazing and useful option used in AutoCAD. That means it will dynamically align your UCS according to the object. So when I make this one on, you need not bother about the UCS anymore. So that means when I have to draw in a circle, I can type C and get the circle command and bring my cursor to any of the face and you can see that it automatically aligns to that face. So suppose I want to draw a circle here, it gets there like this. And suppose if I want to draw here, it gets there too. So you must be very much clear with the UCS before going into any design in the software. So that's the end of this session. And we hope you understood well. Keep posting your queries and feedback. And for more videos, log on to www.tutormash.com. Thank you.